let's continue with uh, Manoj Kumini, uh, who's going to tell us about F rationality of Ries algebra. I would like to thank the organizers for this opportunity. And uh, so this is about uh, uh, some, uh, some conditions for Ries algebras to be uh, F rational. And uh, so this is motivated by some earlier work of Hiri and uh, Hara, uh, Watanabe, and Yoshida. And the newer results that I will discuss and at least sketch a little bit uh, are, were obtained uh, with Mitra Kohli. It's, I mean, that's like the older work and even newer work with Nimra Kotl. Okay. So I'll, I'll mention the best. That's big enough, right? Okay, so um, this is the context. We have a, an Ethereum local ring. And uh, we will just assume that they are normal domains. For more, uh, I mean, we could, of course, raise these questions over anything, but uh, results will be in this context. Okay. And uh, this is of a, a, char a prime characteristic. And uh, we consider a filtration R, which is just, which we just call I0, then I1 of M primary ideals. Okay. And by this script R, we will write the uh, Ries algebra. Okay. And the question, or the, the thing is, find uh, sufficient and or necessary conditions for this reasoning to be F rational. Uh, so we'll make a restriction immediately, which is that, uh, which, is, which will be implicit in, in the discussion throughout. Uh, we will just assume that the Ries algebra is a priori. So we will assume, I mean, when we try to find conditions, we will we'll have a prior assumption that this is, uh, is both Cohen Macaulay and normal. Okay, so in fact, therefore, we are not discussing an arbitrary filtration. We are discuss I mean, this filtration I is therefore is the uh, integral clo I n is the integral closure of I one uh, I one to the n. Okay, so therefore, and therefore we will just change. I mean, but therefore we should keep this. In, I mean, we'll keep this in mind. So we'll write I as the first ideal, and we will also assume that. that uh, I has a reduction, uh, yeah, these are in primary ideals, has a reduction J generated by system of parameters. These are not very restrictive. I mean, once you make this assumption, these are not very restrictive. Okay, okay and uh, just one more thing, maybe I'll just put it here. Uh, we, will, we will also occasionally need to look at the extended Ries algebra for this filtration which is just where, where for negative indices, I n is uh, the ring. OK, so what is the motivation for this question? So there are characteristic zero results, okay. results of Heary. And uh, so let me state one theorem. There are many uh, uh, results in that, that paper uh, of Heary. Let me just take one that's sort of representative and sort of will motivate uh, our results. Okay. 
uh, assume that R is a regular local ring. The base ring is a regular local ring. And uh, then, if this is a rational single, the Ries algebra is a rational singularity. implies uh, that uh, the canonical module of, a, of the Ries algebra in degree n is the multiplier ideal. Sorry, this is, I do not know how to write that j or whatever the symbol is. So just, okay, this is the, this is a, uh, uh, this is the result in this. Th there are other results, but okay. So, okay, so this is the multiplier ideal. And as a corollary of this, okay, uh, same, same hypothesis thing, and let us further denote by D uh, the dimension of R, then, uh, okay, and so the notation, so there's I here, which is the first ideal, and then J is a system of parameters, uh, J is a uh, reduction generated by a system of parameters, then Uh, this uh, this ideal the uh, is uh, j n colon i to the d minus one bar. Okay. So this is a uh, this is a I mean this is really not a consequence of uh, uh, of this part. It is really the consequence of this. So maybe I should quickly sketch uh, the argument, which is the, because that is the part that is sort of motivated. Uh, uh, some of this thinking about this problem, okay? So, le uh, so let me just quickly sketch this. This has nothing, I mean, essentially, this is just a calculation of omega r in degree n, okay? It has, doesn't have to do with, uh, test, uh, with multiplier ideals. So uh, let A denote the extended Ries algebra for the reduction, okay? This is Gorenstein, uh, r is Gorenstein, so this is Gorenstein, and uh, uh, omega A is, uh, as, as a graded module, it is minus D plus one, uh, A shifted by minus D plus one. And uh, in, fa in fact, R, this Ries algebra R, uh, R, the extended Ries algebra R prime is the normalization of A. Sorry. Oh God, when it's, <laughs> when it's required, the chalk doesn't break. But <laughs> A, okay? And then we can uh, calculate uh, omega R bar as a graded module uh, by this uh, omega A. And omega is a, A shifted by this, and therefore this is a conductor up to a shift. Okay? And, uh, and this, is, this, this is inside R. Uh, and this is, uh, that's where this expression comes. It is a conductor in graded in certain pieces, that's where this expression comes. Okay. So this is, um, yeah, so actually I was thinking at some point that uh, such formulas might be useful in computing multiplier ideals, computing meaning comp in Macaulay 2, but now I'm not entirely sure of that thing. It's not clear to me which is easier now. <laughs> so okay. so I, I sort of abandoned that part of the, the thought. But there is this, uh, because one would think that there are existing algorithms to compute integer closure and colons, let us say, relatively easy to compute. Uh, so we could do this and compute this one, but I do not have any uh, sort of intuition about the, you know, the extreme cases in which, uh, where this works. Okay, so I, okay, so now uh, we have some characteristic uh, P um, uh, motivation. So, uh, I mean, substantial part of the characteristic P motivation comes from two, three papers of uh, uh, Hara, Watanabe, and Yoshida. 
Okay. So this is a paper which dis discussed a fractionality of Ries algebras. Okay. And then uh, the, 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 the famous paper of Hara and Yoshida defining test ideals. And there is another paper of Watanabe and, and Yoshida, uh, which uh, does some other, I mean, I forget the, the, the full content of this thing, but it, it has similar looking colons and things that involve test ideas. So let me quickly uh, motivate, uh, so, uh, I mean, let me just quickly say some of these things. Okay. So first, so this is the um, paper which they, they described uh, a fractionality, and more, more importantly, it also has a good collection of interesting questions and problems and conjectures, so it was a nice paper to start. Okay. So let me just, uh, in this context, in this context of this theorem and the corollary there, let me quote a result from Hara and Yoshida. This is a test ideals uh, uh, paper. So if you assume R is Gorenstein, uh, oh, sorry, I didn't actually explicitly say anywhere. Uh, for example, I used here that this is, uh, uh, this is finite over, over A, but so I'm assuming the rings are, all rings that we consider are excellent. I didn't, uh, oh, okay, so I, I, I okay. so all these rings that we are discussing are excellent rings. Uh, R Gorenstein and F rational, okay, then, Ah, sorry. Uh, if uh, the Ries algebra is uh, is uh, f rational, this the same formula there, which is uh, uh, in, in in degree n, is the test ideal of I n for all. Uh, this is uh, yeah. Sorry. This is. Yeah, both of these quantif this is for all n or positive n because this is anyway zero in in non-positive degrees. Okay. And uh, this is the test ideal. Okay. So okay, so there, there therefore there is a formula similar to that which involve uh, in, involves powers of j and the integral closure of i d minus one. Uh, which will compute uh, test ideal as a colon. Okay. But again, as I said, I, I was, at this point, I'm not sure. If com trying to compute test ideals that way is more efficient than anything, any other known algorithm. Okay, so, I, okay, so this is, um, so that's one result. And yeah, so, and this is, this paper of Watanabe and Yoshida uh, also has similar formulas involving integral closure, test ideals, and, uh, and the reduction. So there is. Okay, so this is the sort of motivation for, for, for to start thinking about these problems. Yeah. So let me now get into some new results that are already published, so results. Then I'll also touch upon uh, further newer results. Okay, so maybe I should uh, at this point, okay, so I, I said this, but uh, all rings that we, all rings, uh, Schemes. We don't need a lot of schemes, but we need proj of a uh, R excellent in in this. Okay. So that is, and uh, let me just quickly define a fractionality. Although I stated things without actually saying what it is. Okay. So we'll assume since these are all excellent, and, and we'll also further assume that they are homomorphic images of cohen macaulay rings. Uh, so we'll just take this restrictive definition, but which is equivalent to the general definition, is f rational if uh, there exists an ideal generated by system of parameters, a system of parameters that is tightly closed. And uh, for a, a Noetherian ring, was there a question? Uh, Noetherian ring uh, slash scheme is a fractional if uh, uh, it is so 
at uh, close points, maximal ideals. I mean, we are, uh, all the things that we discuss, uh, they respect localization, so it's enough to check at maximal ideals. Okay? And the main thing that we use to prove these results is the tight closure of uh, zero uh, in the top local cohomology module. So this is a theorem of uh, Karen Smith. Okay. Suppose that this is Cohen Macaulay, then RM, oh sorry, R is a fractional if and only if the tight closure of zero uh, in the uh, top local cohomology module is zero, where D here is the dimension. Throughout, for the base ring R, I will write uh, D for its dimension. Okay. And so we have to slightly, I mean, we rewrite this in a graded situation. And so the, what we will do to prove uh, uh, is that, so similarly, to prove that the Ries algebra is a fractional, okay, we will show that it is Cohen Macaulay, or sometimes it will be part of the hypothesis. And two, the, uh, 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 the tight closure of zero in the top local cohomology module of the Ries algebra is zero. Okay, so I, let me not write the subscript. It is a homogeneous maximal ideal. Okay, here, okay, maybe I'll write it once because I, I, I'm just introducing more notation. When I write like this for the Ries algebra, I always mean with respect to the homogeneous maximal ideal. This, it's a local ring, so. There's a unique one. Okay. This is zero. So this is essentially studying. This is the uh, the, the, uh, the the underlying thing in, in uh, all these new results that I'm going to present. And okay. so there was a question in that paper of uh, 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 paper of uh, Hara, uh, Watanabe, and Yoshida, which asked. What is the relation between a fractionality of, uh, I mean, sorry, it's not a question. It was actually a conjecture that put one direction. What is the, uh, uh, what is the relation between the fractionality of the, uh, of the Ries algebra and the fractionality of the extended Ries algebra? Okay. So, that is, uh, so that is the theorem. Okay, so let me state the theorem. And one direction was already known. The following are equivalent. Okay. One, the extended Ries algebra is a fractional. Okay, so this is the X. And um, two, the base ring is a fractional. Base ring and the reason. They are a fractional. Okay. And uh, the, okay. So the idea behind this, uh, oh, okay, so I should clear. Uh, yeah. uh, two implies one had already been proved by Hara, Watanabe, and Yoshida, and they had asked for their conjecture that uh, the other statement is true. And so one implies two uh, was proved by uh, Mitra uh, and myself. And uh, also, this argument is different from, I mean, so this argument will give a different proof of the other direction also. And what is, I mean, what is the, uh, uh, what's the underlying idea? If you take zero, so if you take this top local cohomology module of the Ries algebra, this is, uh, so at some point you have to reduce to some Cohen Macaulay, some lemmas to prove that, uh, yeah, either under, under either of these hypotheses, uh, some Cohen McCollins will be there, so so let me just, let me just write like this. Okay. It is actually the negative part of the top local cohomology module of the extended Ries algebra. These are different maximal ideals, but let me just be, be sloppy in my notation okay. uh, in degree j. Okay. 
this is a this is not a very difficult thing. And I mean, a new observation was that the tight closure of zero in this module, tight closure of zero in this module here, is has the same behavior, which is. Uh, the negative part of the tight closure of zero of this one. And using this, uh, one can, and, and, and uh, also, what's the, where does this come in, in this hypothesis? That in degree zero of the extended Riesz algebra, this lives only in negative degrees, but extended Riesz algebra stop local cohomology lives in all degrees, and in degree zero, this is the cohomology of the base ring. I mean, these are not, um, these are, is that, okay, that's okay, right here. Okay, so that's where, uh, now you just, uh, one, one uh, looks at what happens to the tight closure zero that theorem will follow. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that is the, okay. okay. Um, So now I would like to uh, state another result. Uh, this again came from the paper of, uh, the question came from the paper of uh, uh, Hara Vatnabi and Yoshida. See, if the Riesz algebra is a fractional, then uh, so would its proj, which is the blow up of the, so maybe I, I just could write. Yeah. So let me call x the proj of the Riesz algebra. And there is a map to spec R. And this is the blow up map of spec, blow up of spec R along uh, uh, spec R mod I. Okay. So that's this, uh, 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 that's this map. So if this is a fractional, I mean, if the Riesz algebra is a fractional, x would also be a fractional. And so there were theorems of, in, in the paper of in characteristic zero of Hiri and in Haravatnabi Yoshida in characteristic p, where they ask questions or prove theorems related to the fact, related, I mean, of the similar sort, the sort of hypothesis which says some hypothesis on R and x is a, a fractional, would that imply that the Riesz algebra is a fractional? Okay. There were some, uh, okay. so uh, the next result that I want to list is related to that. So I think there is, a, okay, at least for me, there is a motivation for this question, which is, I think the first example where, uh, of uh, non-a fractional Riesz ring was by Anurag Singh, and the example that he constructs, uh, the proj is not a fractional. So the non-a fractional point, so the proj, therefore also I mean, show up in the, in the spec, and therefore, uh, you know, it is, the, okay. So therefore, I, I mean, for some reason, I, I was curious, and there, actually there are m many, quite a few results which say that if x is a fractional, a nice hypothesis on R should force the Riesz algebra to be a fractional. Okay. So let me state the uh, next theorem, which I will uh, quickly uh, go through, because it's, it's a, So let's assume that this is a, uh, let uh, this be a three-dimensional rational singularity in characteristics P. Okay, so by this, at least the way we have defined this to mean that there exists a resolution of singularities with the usual vanishing property, okay. Uh, but uh, I'll quickly say where the three dimension is coming, uh, is going to come in. Okay. And again, uh, as usual, we are taking in primary ideals. Um, yeah. Uh, assume that X is uh, a fractional. Then, okay. for all n sufficiently large, the Veronese subring of the Riesz algebra, not the, I mean, we do not know if the Riesz algebra as such is a fraction or not, but if you look at the Veronese subring of the nth power, 
is a fresh number. Okay, so this is a uh, this is just skip every degree other than those are divisible by n, okay. and uh, so such results again uh, at least uh, in discussing whether rash, uh, Reese algebras are Cohen Macaulay or not, uh, there are uh, older results of uh, Craig and uh, Hakaba and various uh, people okay, where if you under suitable hypothesis on the nose the Reese algebra may not be Cohen Macaulay but a Veronese subrings are Cohen Macaulay. So this is maybe uh, it's a result. It's in the, okay. And uh, okay, maybe uh, in the interest of time, I uh, so maybe I'll just say. Uh, okay, so the point is that so I mean, the way the hypothesis here, it means at least for us, we took that as a definition of rational singularity, as that there exists a resolution of singularities, which uh, uh, which uh, uh, from which the usual vanishing of homology uh, uh, applies. Okay, for I mean. A resolution of singularities of R, but so, but where does three dimension three come into play? That is because uh, we would like we use the result of Kosa uh, Pilta, uh, which said that in dimension three you can do. Okay. So then we make we can make that resolution of singularities factor through this x, this morphism, okay. and then it is just a, uh, okay. and then some some argument to prove that if you do like this, it will become Cohen Macaulay. Then uh, that theorem, uh, like this, to say that if you further uh, replace the n by larger ones, we can get this also, okay? and uh, that is the that's the idea of the proof. Okay, so dimension three is to say that the resolution of singularity would factor through this x, which I, I do not it may exist in other cases, but I I, I don't know much. Okay, so I, that's where we used. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, and and also I think the some of the spectral sequence arguments are quicker and will. No, we'll finish off fast if it's in dimension three. They may become too big if they're higher dimension. Okay, so, I, okay, so, so now further newer results, which are not, uh, so these things are not uh, published. Uh, these are, this is still sort of in, in preparation. Okay, so this is, uh, so, I'll, so there are, so the newer results are somewhat more technical to state and uh, uh, they were there in Nirmal's post. I don't know if the posters are still there. So uh, the, the, the full technical details of the things are there. I will just give one result which also looks similar to this. So I think, okay, and I, similar hypothesis, RM, three-dimensional, Gorenstein, complete, F finite, uh, F rational ring. Okay, uh, Gorenstein because you have to do some duality in the middle. Okay, so just uh, Cohen Macaulay may not be Cohen Macaulay may be enough, uh, but we haven't really. Uh, and if you instead of working with the with this, uh, yeah, it, it, so that. Um, uh, maybe we have to look at not test ideals, but submodules of omega in that case, but so that we have not done. Uh, complete uh, is for some technical reasons, a finite are all for some, uh, using other results which are sort of, they require that in the hypothesis. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, assume that the Reese algebra for the maximal ideal is uh, Cohen Macaulay, and that the proj of the Reese algebra of the maximal ideal is F rational. Okay. Then uh, the Reese algebra itself is F rational. Okay. So we have this only for the maximal ideal, uh, and yeah, and we have, I mean, Syntactically, we have this extra hypothesis that you have to assume prior, a priori that this is uh, Cohen Macaulay, which is not required here, but of course, then you have to pass to a larger thing to get that thing. Okay, so this is the, okay, and uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, so the remaining results are somewhat technical, so I, I will not state them, okay, and I'll stop here. Thank you. Any questions for Manoj?
Yes. Can you say something about the proof, if it's not too technical? Oh, this one, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, yeah, I can. I can uh, we'll, we'll upload the, the thing in a week or so, hopefully. So then, yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, no, we don't. I mean, I, we, I do not know if it's true or not, but we don't have a proof. So it looked like earlier in your talk you were looking at the filtration by the um, integral cl closures of the powers of the ideal. Ah, and okay, good point. Yeah, yeah. Under this hypothesis, powers of M would be integrally closed. Ah, sorry. Yeah, I should have probably said that when I was right. But I mean, in the early, in the result that you're in front oh, of right sorry. now. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. This I need. Yeah, yeah. This I need. Okay. But there it is. Uh, okay. Thank you. Any other last round for questions? Last round. Okay. Yes. Let's thanks Manoj again. Thank you.